you didn't want to tell me what you were into With either. With good reason. Look what happened. So that's back on me now. I thought we agreed that was settled. You said it was settled. That doesn't mean I have to agree to it. Oh, it's you. What are you doing here? <sighs> What's this about? You called, right? Or, uh, was it Beast? I didn't call you. Listen, I've had a shitty night. Well, you're not the only one. And I really don't want to deal with the runaround. Snow said you called and wanted to talk to me. If someone called, it must have been Beast. I certainly didn't. Okay, I... You know, if you had just kept your mouth shut about me, Beast wouldn't have lost his head over at the open arms. He never would have even found the place. And I wouldn't have had to spend the night defending myself or keeping secrets with Bigby Wolf. I lost my job because of you. I needed that. Who's there? Beauty? Who is it? If you don't want to talk, can you just get Beast for me? I don't know. Talking has a way of escalating with you. Bigby's here. Hi, Bigby. Can you give us a minute? A word in private? I think that's a good idea. Hmm. I guess I really do have the smallest apartment in the woodlands. Now, Beauty, let's not make a problem out of this. What's he doing here? Do we really need to bring Bigby into this? We talked about it already. But I... I just don't think mm. he's going to improve Talk about living the situation. in the past. That's what we're going to find out. I know you're going to disagree, but if he can't keep a little secret, how can we trust him with this? I trust him. Well, of course you do. Whatever. It's not just that. Trouble follows him around. We're out of money and we're up against the wall here, okay? So can we finish this later? I know what the electric now bill is for that thing. Just... Fine. Sorry, we've had a long night. Yeah, what's that you always say? Centuries of marriage come with centuries of baggage. I gotta say, your place, it looks, uh, expensive. What's that supposed to mean? Beauty! What? It's a fair question. He's the sheriff, not an interior decorator. I thought you were having money problems, but it doesn't look like you're suffering to me. Is this something about that loan you took out? From the crooked man? That's part of it, but... We can't bring him into this. He's just going to make things worse. He always does. Well, he's here now, so let's see what he can do. Why are you being like this? I'm just trying to do what's best for us. I'd like to help you, but I can't do anything if you don't tell me what's going on. Just answer me this first. What if we did have some information on the Crooked Man? If we talk, we're putting ourselves at risk. Could you protect us? I've seen what happens when you cross him. I can protect you, but only if you tell me what I need to know. And that means details. No more stonewalling. We're not! Then just tell me what's going on here. You get used to a certain way of doing things, and... Sometimes it just gets away from you. I just wanted to give Beauty the kind of life she deserves. You understand that, don't you? And there's not a lot of work out there. Who would we be if we just lived like... I should... A day at the beach? Skiing a slope? Hey, we're not done yet. <laughs> and we can't come to I the should... phone right now, so leave a message at the beep and we'll get back to you as soon as... <laughs> Humanly possible. Beep! That fucking message. I'm gonna come down there and bash your heads in with that machine if I have to call again and hear that fucking message one more time. I've been doing this long enough to know that if you had the cash, you'd have paid by now. So consider yourselves out of warnings. Who is that? The crooked man's gonna get his. 
one way or another. All I care about is, how can I find the Crooked Man? Who do I talk to? Where do I go? The Lucky Pawn. That's where I borrowed the money. The Crooked Man's behind that place. I'd overheard people talking to Jersey about loans before. So, when I needed money, that's where I went. Wait. Who do you deal with? Jersey. You know, the Jersey Devil. Oh yeah, that slimy prick. I didn't realize he was back on this side of the river. And those Tweedles were always going in and out. Probably dropping off a loan payment they squeezed out of some poor fable. But never the Crooked Man. Mainly it's just regular fables. I can see now that it was a mistake, but I'm not the only one who goes there, you know. I saw the woodsman's axe there just the other day. It was in a display case. I guess he's hit hard times, too. There's a lot of that going around. What the hell are you doing hanging out at a place like the Lucky Pawn anyway? Sometimes fables sell things they brought from the homelands. Things you can't find anywhere else. You do know there's a difference between pawning something and selling it, don't you? I... I know that. You're buying a piece of someone else's misery money you don't have well that's over now maybe if you go there you can sort some things out i guess i'll go check out the lucky pawn if i can't track down the crooked man there maybe i can make enough noise that the crooked man will come find me hold on bigby don't go there sounds like you're just going to get beauty in trouble and You know that butcher shop, the cut above? It's the place on Tubman Street, same block as the baker and the candlestick maker. Well, I've been delivering packages from there for a while. The thing is, it's for the crooked man. And I don't think it's meat in the packages. Listen to me very carefully. Did you ever deliver to the crooked man? Can you give me an address? No. I delivered to places all over town, but never to the man himself. It never seems to be heading to the same place, but it always comes out of the butcher shop. How did you get involved with this? Johan the butcher called. He had a problem with the refrigeration unit one night. But when I finished, it was your pal Mary who showed up to pay me. She said I was reliable. She liked that. And it's the only thing I've been able to pick up, and it's still not enough. I don't want Beauty to have to work, especially not where she was. Well, you're done working there. If you want my help, this is over. Yeah, of course. Of, of course. I just wanted to provide for Beauty. Give her the kind of life she deserves. We shouldn't have to live like this. Scraping to get by. None of us should. We were royalty once. We were accustomed to a certain lifestyle. All we want is to make this place feel a little bit like home. You wouldn't understand, Bigby. No, probably not. So, where are you going? If this all goes sideways, I'd like to know where it's coming from. I'm going to the Lucky Pond. There's too much going on there to ignore. I'll have a word or two with Jersey. You know, Bigby, once you show your face there, word is going to get out. There may be nothing left to see if you go to the butcher shop after. Well, I guess I'll find out. Wait. I don't know what you're planning to do when you find the Crooked Man, but is there any way you could help us out? What do you mean? Well, maybe you can make this all just go away. We would really appreciate it. What do you say? Can you help us out? 
I'll handle it. I'm not gonna let that crooked bastard ruin any more lives. Oh, thank you, Bigby. I'm sure you'll do the right thing. <laughs>